Welcome to the CBT Nuggets course on Amazon Web Services Solutions Architect Networking Services. Clearly in this course, we're going to focus on the networking services of Amazon Web Services, and we're going to do so with the scope of the Solutions Architect certification. This course joins other courses here at CBT Nuggets when it comes to this popular Solutions Architect certification. We're talking the associate level certification. So if you look at the Compute Services course, for instance, it will focus on all of these great compute services that we have in Amazon, and it will again be focusing on that Solutions Architect type content. We decided to break it down into these smaller courses so it would be more manageable for you to study and master and also take your pick. If you are an expert when it comes to database services, for instance, with Amazon Web Services, well, then you don't need to worry as much about that course compared to something like networking or storage or compute or security. Now, if you are interested in Amazon Web Service certification, I really do consider this course to probably be the most important in our portfolio thus far at CBT Nuggets. And that's because networking is a topic that's going to come up in just about any of the certifications you might face. In fact, with the foundational cloud practitioner certification, it'll be there and all of your associate level certs, it's going to be there. So this content that we are going to look at together really does have huge implications when it comes to certification. As you might guess, there's so much to discuss here. We have the virtual private cloud and inside of the virtual private cloud, we're going to have our subnets. We're going to have gateways, internet gateways, egress only gateways. We'll have NAT devices. We're going to have availability zones playing into this. So we need to talk about the global infrastructure. We have route 53 is DNS. We have the serving of content from CloudFront, VPNs, direct connect connections. So the list goes on and on. And as I kind of alluded to, some of these like VPC are going to have a whole bunch of components inside them. So it is a broad, broad set of networking services that we'll be discussing here in this critically important course. Certainly, I'll be giving you plenty of tips and tricks as we move through these nuggets, and I'll be giving you plenty of additional resources you should consider. But right off the bat here, we need to mention two, and that is certainly the free tier account. If I do a search on AWS free tier, we know that we're going to come to a free tier that we can get started with in Amazon Web Services. And why this is so great is that you can practice with many of these network components that we'll be discussing in this course. Another place though that I want you to consider getting additional information from is my own blog and that's at ajsnetworking.com. If we go to the blog and we go to this search field and I do VPC for instance and hit search, we're going to see that there's a nugget <laughs> actually a blog nugget that I did on the default VPC. There's one I did on an overview of VPCs. Here's the default VPC with some more information about it. Here's a VPC quiz. So there's going to be resources surrounding the topics that we go through in this course at the blog for even more information for you. And of course, these resources are completely free of charge. Since I have a ton of great content for you in this networking services course, let's not take up any more time. Let's jump right in and get started. As you might guess, we're going to pick up with nuggets on the virtual private cloud. That's because VPCs, there are virtual data centers, and they are just filled with networking components that we're going to want to become well-versed in. I hope you found this nugget informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.